Hey there, what's going on guys? Today we are checking out 10 Minecraft seeds for Java Edition version 1.15.2. I know I will get the question, so no, these are not for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. For your convenience, there is a link in the description to my blog post with all of the coordinates for locations that I show in this video. These seeds are all tested and working in the latest 1.15.2 Java version of Minecraft on PC. I tried to add in a decent variety of different seeds, so hopefully there is one that you are looking for. But yeah, that's enough of hearing me talk in this intro. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to start off with a seed that features a village at your spawn location. Spawning inside of a village is always a treat in Minecraft and this seed gives you that opportunity. It's a great village too, as it has tons of buildings. In fact, I counted 12 buildings. Another great thing about this seed is that this spawn location is an awesome place to build, with forests around the plains biome, a river, and mountains too. Oh, and underneath the ground has some things to offer too. In fact, it has two spawners. The first is the skeleton spawner for all of your XP or bone meal needs, and the second is a zombie spawner for rotten flesh and XP, I guess. I don't know, but it's awesome to have both spawners right underneath your spawn. This is a great spawn seed. Now I want to check out this seed that features a cave that I just needed to show you guys. When you walk directly west from spawn, you'll come across this massive cave. I thought this was some really cool terrain generation and it almost looks like world edit. I've seen some really big caves in Minecraft, but I'm not sure I've ever seen one quite like this before. There's also a double ravine close by too. The first ravine is, uh, well, it's hardly a ravine, but I guess we'll just classify it as one. It's not too dangerous and it's actually a great place to get some starter ores. At the northern edge of the ravine, it connects to a bigger ravine system. This one is definitely a more classic Minecraft ravine with lava and water, and it's quite large. The last thing I want to show you is that right over the hill near the cave system is a village. There are only six buildings here, but it's a great place to camp out when starting your world. Of course, that initial world edit looking cave system was what really stood out to me about this world. Next up, we have this seed that spawns you right in the middle of a mesa biome. Looking at the Amist map, you can see when I say that you spawn in the middle of the biome, that you really spawn in the middle of the biome. <laughs> it may be a challenge to get food and whatnot here, so I'm going to give you a couple of locations you can travel to that may help you out. First, on the northwest edge of the mesa is a desert temple. Temples are great for loot, but it's a pretty far travel. That's the challenge that spawning in the middle of a mesa provides. On the southwestmost point of the mesa, it will bring you to a savanna biome. Here, there is a village. With the buildings and farms, you have easy access to food, but once again, it's a far travel. So while awesome to spawn in a mesa, it can be a challenge. I definitely wish you good luck if you decide to try out the seed for yourself. Next, I want to share this seed that features an Ice Spikes spawn location. Ice Spikes, to me, are one of the coolest looking biomes in Minecraft, so spawning within it is really awesome. It's a really cool atmosphere. There also happens to be a couple of locations nearby that you can loot and check out too. The first is a village. Of course, as a snow village, you have the ice and snow buildings here. There's also a weaponsmith here, which is always nice. Just southeast of the village is an igloo. There is no zombie spawner tutorial thing that spawns underneath this one, unfortunately, but at least the igloo is still there. So overall, it's a pretty cool place to spawn in on this seed with all of these things nearby. Here we have the first jungle seed that we will be seeing in today's video. This seed features a jungle temple right next to your spawn point. Of course, jungle temples are great places to gain quality loot. Having this one so close to your spawn location could give you some great loot to start your world. Heading to our final location though, you can stop at two more jungle temples along the way. 
Again, two more opportunities for some great jungle temple loot if you want it. You can really have a lot of loot just from these temples. Our final location that I'm showing them is this bamboo location within the jungle. Despite being in Minecraft for a while now, I still get excited to find the bamboo jungle. It looks really cool and I think bamboo is a great decoration and useful supply to have. Despite just staying in the jungle here, this seed clearly has a lot to offer. Getting into the final 5 seeds, I want to share with you a seed that has a mansion very close to spawn. With spawning inside of a forest, you have quick access to find a bee's nest right nearby. Just a few blocks away is where I found one. Obviously bees are a really nice thing to um, kind of check out in Minecraft 1.15. Heading on the way to the mansion, you can stop at a witch's hut if you want to. It's really not the most fun thing to find, but it's there and uh, I figured uh, you should know about it. Then we finish our journey to the mansion only about 600 blocks away from spawn, not a far travel at all. To put the sides of the mansion into perspective, there are 5 rooms on the top floor, so there's a lot to explore throughout this mansion. Also in this location, just across the swampland, is a village. It's a spruce village that partly spawns within the swamp. There is actually two weaponsmiths in this village, which I mean, that's just a really nice trait. So yeah, a great seed with a mansion close to spawn and a village with two weaponsmiths. Next up, let's check out a survival island seed, a bit different than the other seeds in this video. Survival islands create a unique survival experience with a bit of a challenge. This is a decently large island with lots of trees which makes the experience a bit easier for those who are trying survival island for the first time. To the west of the island, you'll find an ocean monument. That's a decent challenge to accomplish when you get to that point of the survival experience. Additionally, there's obviously a lot of shipwrecks throughout the ocean too. I'm going to give you the coordinates to just one of them. It's the full looking ship which is made out of oak and birch. There are multiple chests in here and one of them features a treasure map. Finally, I wanted to point out that there is a mushroom island in this same ocean which can be another task for you to eventually get to. It's just another place within the same ocean that you can add to your list of things to get to as you survive the island. Now we have a mushroom island seed. Actually, you spawn inside of a jungle when you first get into the seed, but right next to the jungle, only a few blocks away, is the mushroom island biome. It's actually really cool to find a land-connected mushroom fields biome, as has been the case since Minecraft 1.13. The biome is a pretty decent size, so there's a lot of potential for mushrooms and mushrooms. <laughs> While plenty to explore throughout the seed, of course, this is really the only thing so close to spawn, aside from shipwrecks and ruins in the ocean. Like I did with the last seed, I'm going to give you one shipwreck location off the coast of the mushroom biome. It is a birch and oak shipwreck, and it has a chest inside with some loot if you are interested in that. But yeah, a mushroom biome this close to spawn, connected to a jungle, is a really cool thing to find. We are going into the desert for this seed. There's a village here in the plains, but we'll get back to that in a second as we uh, backtrack through the world. First, heading into the desert brings you to a pillager outpost. This is only about 230 or so blocks away from spawn, and uh, there's a caged iron golem here. Now back to the village next to spawn, it's a basic plains village. Not too exciting, but there are quite a few buildings here for you to explore though. I wanted to go back this way because uh, we can continue to this path easily to see our next location, which is again another village. Obviously villages aren't the most exciting thing in the game, but they're nice to find and this one is a desert village. Again, this is on the path to our final location, which is a mushroom island in the ocean. This mushroom island is isolated, so it's not connected to land like in the previous seed, and is actually really cool because it's right in the middle of a frozen ocean, so you have icebergs nearby. So yeah, this seed features a couple of villages near spawn, an outpost near spawn, and a mushroom island in the middle of a frozen ocean. To finish off, the final seed I want to share with you today is a double spawn village seed. 
This is one of my favorite seeds that I found in Minecraft 1.15. Heading west from spawn will quickly bring you to a village only about 100 blocks away. With plenty of buildings and farms, it's a great place to loot right off of spawn. But that's not the only village near spawn. Heading east about 200 blocks from the first village brings you to another one. This one sits partly within a swamp biome, so it's a bit unique. It's not really a big village, but there is a weaponsmith here, so you can loot for some extra nice items. Now heading back to the first village again, no, I didn't skip over the mesa biome that the village generates partly in. Having a great sized mesa biome near spawn is awesome, and it creates unique opportunities for a first spawn build or easy access to uh, the mesa blocks. That just adds on to how awesome this seed is, but one last thing really makes it stand out to me. With there being a forest biome nearby spawn, I found a bee's nest very close to spawn too. So that's just another great thing to access at your spawn location. With two villages, a mesa, and a bee's nest so close to the spawn point, I was thrilled to find this seed. So yeah, there you have five Minecraft seeds that are working in Minecraft Java version 1.15.2. In the comments, if you have found any really interesting seeds that you think people may like, definitely share the seed ID code so people can check it out. Let us know what makes the seed so special and let us know what's in the seed or why we should look at it. Again, there is a blog post in the description with all of the seed locations from this video listed for easy access to you. For more Minecraft videos from me, including more seed videos, subscribe and click the bell so you will always be notified when I upload new videos. That's going to do it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.